Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to another Live with Low Red weekly fishing report, update, recap, all things water banks. Welcome. I'm gonna wait for some people to get in here. Oh man, I'm feeling a little groggy this morning. I don't know about you guys, but I think the heat this week, it's just been so hot, so humid. Um, yeah, I feel like today, Saturday, I just kind of feel like kicking back in the AC and eating some good food today, editing a YouTube video, <laughs> just chilling inside. Um, good morning, guys. Good morning. I don't have my little red lures mug today. Um, this is this is my second favorite mug. I've had this for a long time. It has my name on it, and it's from Yellowstone National Park. And I don't know if I can show you guys without spilling, but there's a little bear paw in there. But cheers. Hope you guys are having a great morning. Hello from Rhode Island. Hi. Good evening from Germany. That's so cool. This is my second cup. I just fixed it so it's really hot and it's also black because like I said, I'm really groggy today. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get through this without messing up too bad. 5 p.m. in Sweden. That is so awesome. I love being able to connect with you guys from so far away. Like, it's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. But yeah, I've had a bit of a hectic week. I don't know. It just seems like with the way the world is these days, it's just kind of hard not to have a hectic week. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but... Um, yeah, I did a little bit of fishing this week, not as much as I would have liked to, um, but, you know, also I have some bad news. My boat um, is in the shop right now. She, she's in the shop for the first time. I mean, I guess this is part of boating. I need to get used to it. Boats in the shop is kind of stuff you'd have to deal with, but um, I definitely miss it. I've had it in the shop I think for like two days now today's the second day so yeah I haven't been able to go out on the boat and it really sucks but yeah it's not really like the issues aren't really with my boat or my motor so that's good it's more the trolling motor and the power pole um, they're just kind of like locking up so I'm trying to see what's going on with that Sorry, guys. When I stare off into the distance like that, I'm trying to read your comments. <laughs> Boat stands for bust out another thousand. I've heard that quite a few times, yes. Good morning from Florida. I bet it's been hot down there for y'all because it's been crazy, crazy hot here. I think the only place that's kind of bearable is if you're, like, out on the water and you're moving or the beach hasn't been that bad. It's had a, we've had a nice little breeze on the coast, but it's hot out there. It's been 118 in West Texas. Shoo! Gosh. Yeah, talk about a heat wave. Where's my shirt from? I think this is from um, PacSun. Pretty sure. All right, guys, well, let's get into it. Sorry I'm moving a little slow this morning. <laughs> Can somebody explain to me what the word simp means? Because I don't know, but I see it everywhere. When are you gonna make the freshwater videos? Um, as soon as I get a breather. <laughs> <laughs> to go travel a little bit, which I really miss doing. Um, yeah, so hopefully 
before August. I'd like to do it by the end of this month or sometime in August, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to plan that trip. I've had it planned for quite a while, actually. There's this really, really neat place. Um, I want to go. It's like five hours from here, and it's in the mountains. It's beautiful. Lots of trout streams, and I'm sure I could find some bass around that area, too. Um, but every time I tried to go, I tried to go like months ago, every time I tried, a huge storm would roll through or something would like flood the rivers and the streams. So um, also need to look at the trout stocking schedules there. So, but that's in the works. I'm definitely, definitely gonna go give that a shot, fresh water, and maybe even whip out the fly rod. I don't know. I haven't fly fished in quite a while, so you guys don't judge me too hard on that, but. I definitely want to learn, become a pro. Oh, in my last video, I was telling you guys about this um, Spanish and bluefish lure that I like to use from the surf, and I still don't know the name of it. I think um, my dad would call this a sting silver, I think, or it could be a different color that's called that, but we call them sting silvers. They're really heavy. Like, it's got a lot of weight. I'm pretty sure it's made of lead. Um, but this is the this is the color. I think this one is called the Ghost Minnow, and I'm also thinking that it's made locally by a guy named one Arm Bandit. So, one Arm Bandit. So, um, good luck finding that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. If I can figure out what the brand is or, like, where you can get these, I will let you know. But I did find it, so this is awesome from the surf for Spanish and bluefish because it holds weight and you can crank it super fast. Um, a lot of the other ones, like, I've never had any luck fishing with a gotcha plug from the surf because it's so lightweight that it just, it doesn't hold in the waves. It'll, like, kind of just hang around the top or get twisted. So this guy is nice and heavy and, yeah show you guys a close-up got the treble hook if you guys know what it's called let me know but that's a killer Spanish and bluefish um, lure right there so as far as fishing this week goes um, it's still been really really good but like I said it's been so hot um, I went out, I guess it was Monday, and this was like before, this is kind of like when I noticed my boat was having some issues with the trolling motor and the power pole, but um, when I went out on Monday, you guys saw the video, the flounder video, I got two huge flounder, uh, one of them being my personal best at 24 inches, it was, it was awesome. But it was kind of weird that I didn't get into any trout or puppy drum like I had been. So I'm not really sure why that is. Um, and my mom slayed the croaker. Um, there's just tons of bait, tons of, tons of fish in the sound. But for some reason, couldn't find the trout or the puppy drum. Um, I was talking to some charter captains and they were using live bait like either live pinfish or live little croaker so I rarely use live bait but I might give it a shot um, because I, I tried to explore some new spots and where it's kind of like more grass grass patches under the water versus like the banks which I usually like to fish the banks um, so I tried to go fish the underwater grass flats and there was just there was so much grass like floating around and and weeds and stuff that my jig and my plastic kept getting grass all over it so um i wasn't really able to fish that area too well so maybe maybe a live a live minnow um or a live little croaker spot or something like that would be the ticket there so as for that though i didn't do too good on that um but i've just been crushing the flounder like i don't understand why I wish it was August it's almost August so hopefully my luck with the flounder <laughs> sticks around uh I'm dying dying to eat some flounder as you guys know our season's been 
been closed for quite a while and it's about to open up in August. Let me see if I can see all his comments. They just disappeared. All right. Um, and what else? Let's see. moving kind of slow today guys I am sleepy I don't know why I fished all day yesterday pretty much um, surf fishing and uh, that video will either be out tomorrow or Wednesday I have a garden update video that I'm gonna edit today or the surf fishing one and I did have some luck on the surf um, but it was it was a pretty long day and like I said like the heat just kind of drains you after a while so Good morning to everybody who's just joining. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday and a great week. Given up, I've given up guessing what day it is. Same. I kind of lose track. I kind of lose track sometimes too. Oh yeah, by the way, thank you guys so much for 60k subscribers. That's awesome. Um, I promised you guys a giveaway for when I hit 60K, and I'll be announcing that next week. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button, and um, I'll be choosing one or two winners, and I'll let you guys know what the prizes are going to be. Um, but yeah, I just I think it's awesome that you guys are loving my content, and just seeing my channel grow is so exciting. Um, and I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me on just everything um uh, putting out i mean if you count this live stream as a youtube video putting out three videos a week is um i wouldn't say it's like stressful but it's, it's definitely time consuming it's a lot of work but i love doing it and um yeah i just thank you guys so much for your support Freshwater fishing sucks. Saltwater is better. That is so not true. <laughs> that is so not true. I love both. I love both. Probably about the same. Ghost minnow. Can you do more crab videos? Yeah. I should. Um... You know, I've gotten the hang of my crab pot pretty good. Um, I don't. Uh, I, that's one thing I did want to talk about is how good the blue crabs have been lately. Over the last two to three weeks, the blue crabs have just been insane. Like, I'll put my crab pot out. I'll probably rebate my crab pot about three times a week um, and just leave it out there. And every time I've gone to check it, it's got huge crabs. Just like plent plentiful amount of crabs like this the average size is like this big they're huge um and most of them are always all jimmies too so blue crab season is definitely in full swing right now and i'm actually going to go check that <laughs> go get my crab pot after this video and um absolutely gorge myself in blue crab meat today <laughs> Do you ever do diving slash spearfishing? No, I haven't. Um, there's a local guy down here um, that does it, and he is awesome. He, I think he broke a world record last year for Biggest Sheep's Head, and he's been asking me to go since last summer, and I've been, I've been trying to go. I really want to. Um, I, I just need to find the time to do it, but also I need to, like, grow a pair because... I'm kind of afraid to, like, swim with sharks. <laughs> I don't, I don't mess with sharks. Like, I, I don't, mm -mm. I know people say that they don't attack you. They just, like, want to check you out. But I would be that one person that they were like, mmm, I think I might want to take a bite of, a bite of her and see what she tastes like. Like, Elo's dreaming under the table. <laughs> He went to the beach with me yesterday, and he's absolutely zonked. 
But yeah, I would totally want to do spear fishing. I just need to get over the fear of sharks. Like if I if I saw a shark, I would probably drown just from like being so scared. I don't know how people swim with sharks. I just I don't know. There's so many here too. Like there's so many. Maybe if um maybe if I went with like a big group and they could all make a circle around, like, me in the water <laughs> to protect me from the sharks, then I would do it, but... <laughs> or if I could go down in, like, a, a cage or something, yeah. Alright, let's see. So what about you guys? Do you guys like fishing with artificial lures or live bait or cut bait more? Because I'm definitely the type to use artificial baits. I just feel like it's more of a sport. It's kind of like, um, you know, I don't know how to say this without like offending somebody, but <laughs> I know some charters, um, they'll go out and like just troll for Spanish or bluefish, just kind of troll. Um, and I don't know, I mean, I guess that's fun and exciting, but I would much rather kind of have the finesse and the skill catching a fish than just, like, trolling. I don't know if that makes sense, but... Artificial all the way. Yes, you guys get me. All right, dang, we're already at 17 minutes. I'm rambling today, guys. What else did I want to tell you? Oh, I wanted to show you guys. I don't know why, but because um, I kind of need to do this, so I thought I would do it on here. Um, these are some of my baits that I made last week. I have not had any time to make any more, but I'm, hope I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to either... It just depends when I can get the, the YouTube video edited for tomorrow. If I have any time between then, then I'm definitely going to make some more. Probably some Galaxy series, but I wanted to show you guys how I do the tails on my baits that I make. Um, this is just a simple paddle tail. It's got lots of uh, glitter, some green flake like holographic and a little bit of um, green pearl in there but all right so I've got three dip colors here I've got red chartreuse and pink what do you guys think I should dip the tail with comment and let me know and we'll see what we'll see what it looks like I've also got some curly tail to dip to red Okay. All right. Dang, everybody's saying red. Okay. <laughs> well, that was easy. All right, so I literally just take this and I dip it. And make sure you don't get a drip. And there it is, you guys the dip tail and this stuff is um, really nice it dries really quickly and it doesn't come off it doesn't fade or anything like that um, I like doing this I do this most of the time if I'm doing a colored tail because sometimes when you like when I'm when I'm shooting plastics um, if you mold the tail and the body together it can be more apt to coming loose. So I find that this ensures the bait has a um, overall consistency that's a lot tougher. Like a, a fish can't just, you know, pull the tail off it, because it's dipped. So that does look pretty, pretty sweet. I like that. Let's try it with the curly tail. Hello, 
from Hello New Zealand. I want to go to New Zealand so bad. There's the red. That looks pretty sweet. Alright you guys, what else would you like to know? Sorry I didn't have like a crazy, um, a crazy fishing report this week. Like I said, my boat's been out of commission a little bit and um, the first, I think it was day before yesterday, I went out to do some surf fishing and um, you know, <laughs> not having my boat has definitely re-humbled me when it comes to fishing. Um, if you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, you know how many times I would struggle. I'd go, I'd go fishing or I'd go to multiple different spots and just not catch anything at all a lot of times. Um, so definitely land fishing is more of a struggle. So um, I appreciate having a boat so much. Um, Are you doing the Hatteras tournament in October? I know that the um, the big Hatteras tournament was canceled. I don't know about the one in October, and also the Nags Head fishing tournament was canceled, which really sucks. But I get it. Like this COVID stuff is so scary. I don't care if you guys think it's a hoax. It's definitely not a hoax. There are people dying. It's so scary. Um, I've definitely been taking it very seriously and it's just, it's just stressful though because sometimes you really, like I crave going out to restaurants or like I haven't been out to eat in so long. I miss it so much. But yeah, I don't even know what I was saying. Watching you from Poland, and I love your videos. Thank you so much for watching. Are you getting a deer this year? I am getting a deer this year. Come hell or high water, I'm getting a deer this year. <laughs> I haven't been practice shooting at all, though, because it's like I'm away from our farm in Virginia, so I don't really practice shoot too much here at the beach. But... You kind of just uh, sparked that in me. I really need to do some practice shooting. Make sure that I have my aim on point. If you guys watched my hunting series videos. Um, yeah, that was that was pretty brutal, the ending there. Oh, I still think about that. Just wondering if that buck... I really, I don't know. I still to this day don't know if I hit him or not. I really don't. But... That's a whole nother story. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely planning on doing some hunting, for sure. Just tuned in, what's wrong with the boat? Um, you know, I'm waiting to hear back, but I'm pretty sure it was caused from using water from a hose um, at the slip that was full of like iron and really rusty type water. It's kind of making my stuff like lock up. So hopefully it's not like a serious problem and they can just clean it really good and fix it. Yes, I am 5'4". <laughs> what about camping? Oh my gosh, you guys are making me really like, I wish I could go camping. I wish I could go hunting. I wish I could go freshwater fishing so bad I need a little adventure trip and I'm definitely gonna do it very soon um, yeah do you have blue or green eyes I have green eyes sometimes they look blue but they actually change color sometimes but they are green
Have you ever caught a striper? Yes, I have. Before I started a YouTube channel, this would have been an amazing video, but um, I guess this was like 2017, so like three years ago. Um, I went fishing near my hometown in Smith Mountain Lake, um, and I caught, I don't even know how big the thing was. Like, we didn't even have a measure or a scale. Actually, I don't know. Maybe we did have a measure. I have to go look and look at my picture and see what it, how big it was. But it was huge. And um, I caught it on a live minnow at the time. And I'm trying to think what even pound test it was. It was like six pound test mono. And I caught this striper. It was like, it was huge. It was huge. <laughs> and um, yeah. So yes, I have caught striper, but that's one that I will never, ever forget. Striper fishing here at the Outer Banks is pretty good, too. Um, I haven't really landed, like, a huge one here. But I remember going to, like, Chesapeake Bay when I was little with my family, and um, we'd go out there, and the striper fishing was insane. And they're really tasty, too. Have you gone back to see your squirrel friend? You know guys, I miss my squirrel so much. Langley was like my baby and I really wish that I would have never gotten rid of him. Well, I didn't get rid of him, I set him free. <laughs> he, he went to the wild. But um, yeah, I, I went to go see him probably, it was kind of like still in the winter months. So I went to go see if he would come out for me, and he didn't. There are a ton of squirrels in that area, so I'm not sure if one of them that I saw in the trees was him or not, but um, the lady who kind of uh, feeds him and takes care of him um, said that he's definitely still alive, um, but she hadn't seen him in a while, and it was probably because they hibernate kind of during the winter months, so... I'm thinking that's what it was, and I'd love to go try again and see if he'll come down. Um, cause I don't. I just truly think that there's no way he wouldn't remember who I am. Like I raised him from the size of a peanut, <laughs> so I mean I would have to make him use the bathroom. Like I would have to feed him with a little milk syringe, like everything. I was his mom, so he definitely has to remember me or I'd be heartbroken. I refuse to think otherwise. Hello from Wilmington. Hey! I've been to Wilmington once, and maybe I was just fishing the wrong areas, but um, it kind of sucked how you couldn't drive out on the beach there and fish. I definitely love that about this place. All right, you guys. I feel like I should get off of here um, and go be productive and eat some crabs. Great seafood in Wilmington. I'm going to make some galaxy paddle, paddle tails. I promise you. I promise. I promise. I promise. And I'm going to make a ton of them. Uh, paddle tails and curly tails. Because those things, I don't know. Like, they're just, they're just the, the juice. I'm definitely going to make some. Um... Oh, also, I wanted to ask you guys, I think I showed you guys a little bit of this in my other video, but have you guys ever used these maps, the top spot mats, maps, mats? <laughs> Love your sand please video. Thank you. <laughs> that actually wasn't that bad. I kind of enjoyed eating the sand fleas. Is that really weird? 
I don't know. I I liked the crunchy ones. The the one that I bit into that was soggy or like soft. Mm. Mm. -mm. But they really weren't that bad. I could I could live off of those if I was deserted on an island for sure. I wonder where Frankie is right now. What else was I going to tell you guys or show you guys? Um, All right, you guys, I think I'm going to hop off of here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for 60,000 subscribers. I love every single one of you, and I can't wait to continue to grow this page together. Um, I just, I'm so glad that I finally started a YouTube channel because I get to connect with you guys, and there's so many different places you guys are from, and... Um, I just think it's really cool, so thank you guys so much for supporting, and um, I will see you in my video tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, make sure you watch it. I hope it's going to be a good one. Um, I'm going to be editing it a lot today, so <laughs> please watch it. I put a lot of effort into editing all my videos. Um, I also just got this new little, um, like, I guess it's like a microphone cover for your for your wind blockage. I don't even know how to say it technically, but um, hopefully it's not as windy in this video as it has been in my other ones. I finally got a microphone cover, so little uh, upgrades here and there. So anyways, guys, have a great day, and thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye!